everyone. My name is Laura English and um, I'm the new Community Development Worker for the Disability Federation of Ireland for Dublin South and Wicklow. Um, some of you might recognise me because for the last four years I worked with people who are deaf blind at the Anne Sullivan Centre. Part of my new job at DFI is to promote the election campaign. We held a meeting about the campaign in early December and some members of the deaf community attended. Unfortunately, there was a big mix-up with the interpreter on the day. I tried to book an interpreter, but was finding it difficult to get one. Then my colleague Martin called one of the deaf people going and she said not to worry because Laura was organising the interpreter. She was talking about me, but Martin phoned me and said an interpreter called Laura was coming to the event. I then thought we didn't need one. It was an unfortunate mistake and we're very sorry about all the confusion. DFI wants to make sure that deaf people knew about the campaign so we decided to make this video. DFI want to ensure that disability is on the political agenda for the next general election in 2016. Earlier in the year we hired a marketing company called Persuasion Republic to help us find the best way to engage with voters and election candidates in advance of the general election. They held three focus groups in different parts of the country, asking ordinary people with little or no experience of disability what their thoughts on the issue were. From the research, they found that people were not interested in statistics and policies and things that were too complicated or didn't affect them directly. The things they cared most about were the things that affected them. If they could relate to an issue by saying, I know that how that feels, or that could be me, they were engaged. Otherwise, they weren't very interested. Alan, who works for Persuasion Republic, explained this story by talking about his son. Um, he said one day his son came home from school very upset. He asked him what was wrong and he said, Dad, one of the boys in my class got in trouble with the teacher today, but I know he didn't really do anything wrong. First, Alan thought, what a noble, good boy I've reared. Then he thought about it more and he understood that his son wasn't upset because his friend had gotten into trouble. He was upset because it could happen to him. He was upset because he lived in a world where he could get in trouble for no reason. He was upset because he could be treated unfairly. Everyone sees the world through their own experience. The things we are moved by are mostly the things that we can relate to and the things that affect us. So with this understanding, DFI and Persuasion Republic created the Disable Inequality Campaign. The idea of the campaign is to show ordinary voters the inequalities and the barriers that people with disabilities face in a way they can understand and in a way that makes them think, if that were me, I'd feel as though I'd been unfairly treated too. So rather than boring people with statistics and lots of complicated information, we decided the best way to reach out to people about the inequalities that people with disabilities face was to ask real people to tell their story. Storytelling is one of the most powerful tools we have as human beings. Each of us has a compelling story to tell, a story that can move others, a story that people can relate to, and a story that people will recognise as unfair. We are looking to bring together all of the stories of inequalities, barriers, difficulties and biases that are encountered by people with disabilities and people from the deaf community to highlight the sense of inequality that people feel. Taking a bus trip, enrolling your child in school, looking for a job, accessing education, going to a concert, getting on a train, doing your shopping, Almost everything is more difficult and has more barriers if you are living with a disability. There are strategies, 
policies, regulations and legislation in place, but in reality, these rights and policies do not translate to every day for people with disabilities. Like everyone, people with disabilities want to contribute to and be part of Irish society, but too much is standing in their way right now. So our campaign asks the question, does that seem fair to you? Is it fair that David has to give 24 hours notice if he wants to travel on train because he's a wheelchair user? Is it fair that Amanda can't access the same training schemes as everyone else because she has a disability? Is it fair that Lucy has been denied entrance to her local school because of her disability? To make the campaign work, we need to gather as many stories of inequality as we possibly can so that people can, can compile a book of evidence to illustrate the sheer volume of inequality faced by people with disabilities and their families. We need to prove that the barriers people face are not just affecting a small number of people in a particular area. They are widespread across the country affecting huge numbers of people and election candidates need to pay attention. Your story doesn't have to be long. It can be a short paragraph with your picture or a short vlog talking about a time that you felt you were unfairly treated because you're a member of the deaf community. Um, stories can be uploaded to our website www.disableinequality.ie the website is already live and we are hoping to get as many stories as possible together before our official launch on January the 13th. Stories should be less than three minutes because we want election candidates to watch them and we know they have short attention spans. If you upload a blog, we will ensure that subtitles are added so that election candidates can understand your story. For each story that appears, a corresponding pin will appear in an interactive map of Ireland to show where it came from. We're aiming to have pins in each of the 40 constituencies nationwide and we'll be contacting election candidates to make them aware of the site and ensure that they are keeping track of stories in their area. By doing this, we can put your issues on the political agenda. We can encourage people to only vote for candidates that promise to improve the situation for people who are deaf and people with disabilities in their election manifesto. The overall aim of our campaign is to ask for a full ministry. In other words, we are asking election candidates who are voted into the next government to appoint a Minister for Disability. That Minister will be responsible for ensuring that all other departments consider people with disabilities in everything they do. At the moment, Kathleen Lynch holds a Junior Ministry for Disability, which means that she has no budgetary powers and does not hold a seat at the Cabinet table. A full ministry would mean a budget and a seat at the cabinet table. The best way to get involved is to upload your story. But there are a number of ways you can join the campaign. You can ask friends or people you know to upload their stories to the website. You can volunteer to become a leader. This means you will commit to raising issues that affect people with disabilities in your area and your community and will act as a contact for other people in the area who are interested in joining the Disabled Inequality Network. You may also like to share your story in the media, on TV or in the newspaper if you get the opportunity. You can attend the official campaign launch in the atrium in Trinity College at 11am on January the 13th. And finally, you can get involved by spreading the word. Tell people about the campaign. Ask friends and family to ask election candidates who are canvassing in your area what they plan to do to support people with disabilities in the deaf community if they are elected. Like Disable Inequality on Facebook and Twitter. 
and share and retweet what we post using the hashtag Disable Inequality. If you have any questions about the campaign, you can email laurainglish at disability-federation.ie and if you send a blog, please understand that it may take a little time to upload it as we will need to request an interpreter for subtitles. I look forward to seeing your vlogs and thanks for watching.